Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather. Uh, I am a skincare, hair care, uh, self-care enthusiast here. Um, I, I don't have any training in any of these things. I just read a lot and watch a lot of YouTube and have used a lot of products. So um, sometimes people ask me about my opinions on things, so I just wanna share them as a you know sort of untrained novice human. So uh, today what I wanted to show you guys is I'm going to actually be doing this like as part of the video. I've never done this before. Um, an eyebrow tinting kit. So this is not specifically needed for eyebrows. It's more for like any type of gray hair or just like small areas you want to use it for. And I saw online that a lot of people were using it to tint their eyebrows. So I was going to do that today. Um, my hair is not naturally quite this ginger. I help it out a little bit. And so my eyebrows, you can see, I actually just, I used a baby wipe to get my eyebrow mascara off because I didn't feel like taking all my regular makeup off. Um, that's why it's a little red right now. But my eyebrows are very ashy. So um, ashy means there's like more of a gray undertone. So like a lot of blondes are gonna have more ashier roots. I did have blonde hair for a while when I was younger. Long story, I've had a lot of hair colors without doing anything to it, it's very weird. Um, so when you have, you know, a warm hair color, cause you know, red is just naturally warm. My hair is reddish already, but my eyebrows have remained this kind of blonde the entire time. So it doesn't really match. Um, and so I use eyebrow mascara to make my eyebrows a little bit darker and a little bit warmer because that goes more with my hair color. Um, so, uh, so yeah, my hair is naturally kind of reddish, but I just shove it in the right direction. So anyway, this kit, this is a little teeny tiny thing. I wasn't expecting it to be this small. Um, and I've already opened it up, as you could probably tell. So what it comes with is this little tiny mixing bowl. Um, do not use metal utensils with hair color. I don't remember exactly why. I do know it's bad. So always use, use plastic or wood um, if you have access to that for these things because they give you a little wooden dowel. They give you four of them, actually, to, uh, to mix this up. They give you four little pills of uh, hair color. And they give you a little thing of developer. So if you're familiar with hair color, apparently this is a level 10 developer. Um, so you might not like, basically the only thing in here that I really needed to buy was, was these guys. So if they just sold these guys, then, then I would be good because I do have 10 volume hair color developer. And you're just kind of supposed to eyeball this a little bit. I already read the directions. Oh, they give you like a, like a product to look at or something. Um, and so we have the directions here. I already read these before. They tell you to patch test an area of your skin to see there's some things in hair dye that some people are allergic to, so just to see if you might be allergic to it. Um, and then basically, uh, you, you cleanse the area that you're going to um, put the hair dye on. And uh, depending on the color that you have, you leave it on for a minute or two, and then um, you remove it. It says remove with a damp paper towel and rinse the area with water. So I'm probably gonna use a baby wipe again and you know maybe wet it in the, in the sink. So let's mix this up. So we've got a little pill here. It, uh, it doesn't give you any precise measurements for the, okay, come on, this, all right. I thought it was gonna explode everywhere and it didn't, so that's good. Um, it doesn't give you any precise measurements really for the developer. It just says to kind of eyeball it, uh, to make a paste basically. So three quarters of a teaspoon, I think is what it said. So, okay, we put the little pill in there. So it's just, it's a powder. And so now, Take this, get a little squirt in here. You can always add more, you can't take it away. So I'm gonna start with not so much. Okay, let's mix this up. And I need more, okay. This is very interesting, I'm sure. So, alrighty. Oh gosh. Mixing, mixing, mixing. All right, that looks better. Okay. So now it kind of looks like that. There we go. You're not gonna need a lot for your eyebrows, so that's, that's all right. So the stick has two sides. It has like a flat side, as you can see, and it has a pointy side. So, um, so for me, when I color my hair, uh, you know, a lot of people when they get hair dye everywhere, it really stains their skin quite a bit where it gets. Um, my hair doesn't really do that. My skin doesn't do that. If I get hair dye on myself, it doesn't tend to stain my skin. But I don't know it about this particular hair dye, so I'm just going to be as careful as I can be. So we're gonna apply this in sort of a mascara upward motion here. Um, if you guys follow any hair people on YouTube, you'll tell them, especially like with bleach, you wanna make sure everything is really saturated. 
And so with regular hair dye, um, you do need to make sure that it's also pretty like wet. It's pretty, you know, there's a lot on there, I think. That's still a good rule of thumb. Uh, I am a little ambidextrous when it comes to makeup and hair pro oh dear, and hair products, which does come in handy or handy. Um, and the only way you get that to get to be able to do that, by the way, be ambidextrous, is just to practice. So I would recommend practicing applying things with either hand. Okay. So. That has now been applied. This is very attractive, right? I'm actually gonna grab a baby wipe and I'm gonna clean this up. Um, I used to use baby wipes for a lot of things um, a lot of the time uh, because I used to do theater in high school. And you know, when you're lazy at the end of the day, a baby wipe looks pretty good. Um, but I don't use them nearly as often as, anymore, um, especially for my face. I do use it for things like this where I'm trying to clean things up from hair color because even though it doesn't really stain, um, did I just wipe that off my hair? I, I don't necessarily wanna leave hair dye on my skin if I can help it, so. Um, so it is good to clean things up. All right, there we go. So um, now, while this is processing, I wanted to tell you guys about my favorite eyebrow mascara product that I use all the time every day before I purchase this little dyeing kit here. And so that is this NYX uh, eyebrow mascara. So this is in a color called chocolate, it's number two. And so as I mentioned, my eyebrows are naturally pretty blonde and I got them uh, done too thin once when I was in high school because um, I used to have very thick eyebrows and they never quite grew back the same. So um, a lot of my eyebrow hairs are actually like, like white. They're like platinum blonde, you can't see them at all. So the eyebrow and mascara really works well for me because I have little tiny hairs. Um, you just can't see them until there's mascara on them or until they're colored like this. So um, that really works well for me and I recommend this quite a bit. There's actually two products that are out that are eyebrow enhancers and I've used both of them that are really popular. One is Benefit Gimme Brow. The other one is uh, Boy Brow by Glossier. And so for Benefit Gimme Brow, I loved it. Um, I used it all the time, but it's a little teeny tiny container and uh, it costs about $26, $24. This costs six or $7 and it's three times as much product. And this works just as well for me. Um, the other one has a much smaller brush. So if you need that, um, then that's, that's a good option for you. I love Benefit. I love that product. It's just, I, I found a less expensive alternative for myself. So that's something. Um, and then uh, Boy Brow the, um, by Glossier, I have tried that as well. And I, I honestly, I didn't see too much of a difference when I used it. I ended up giving it to a coworker of mine who has sort of thinner brows and she loves it. So many people love Boy Brow, um, but it is, again, it's a, it's a higher price point. It's like $18 or something like that. So um, it's already been two minutes. And again, you can always reapply, but uh, I'd rather just sort of take this off here. So let's see what this looks like. Interesting. Okay, well that definitely looks darker, doesn't it? Huh. Well that worked out quite well now, didn't it? I know my face is a little red, I know. Um, there's a YouTuber that I follow, his name is Hiram and he does skincare videos. And um, he talks sometimes about um, redness when you like sort of touch your face and I forget what he calls it, but it has an actual term. And so I kind of have that as you can see, but this is gonna go away relatively quickly. This is fantastic. This is almost exactly what my eyebrows look like when I use my eyebrow mascara. So now, I mean, uh, I've seen online that this, this is gonna last, you know, some people end up doing it once a week, some people do it once three weeks, some people do it once a month, um, but it lasts people a pretty long time because it is, it is hair dye. Um, so this little kit, it comes with four like pills. Um, I got the color medium brown. And uh, so this is gonna last me, depending on how often I need to do it, anywhere between a month and three months, four months maybe. Um, so I think this is a really great deal. Um, I'm really liking this product so far, as long as it uh, doesn't get you know darker for some reason. I'm gonna actually, once I turn this off, probably gonna wash my face a little bit more thoroughly. Um, but in general, yeah, I, I really like this product. Thank you very much, Goatfroy. And thank you very much for tuning in. Bye.